Over the last week, with the launch of Claude Anthropic's new computer use features, we saw a significant shift in interest towards fully automated agent pipelines. This feature has captured much attention, but accessing it hasn't been easy. For one, Claude's API options come at a relatively high cost, which makes it less accessible for experimentation or tinkering. So I started exploring alternative ways to bootstrap this feature using generative AI. Enter Omniparser by Microsoft. In a timely coincidence, Omniparser launched just as computer use and screen parsing became the hot SEO topics. But this model generally lives up to the Omni in its name. Omniparser offers a comprehensive approach to parsing and understanding complex layouts, images, and texts, uniquely suited for automated tasks that accurately interpret on-screen information. Let's explore Omniparser, how it works, where it fits into agent tech automation pipelines, and how you can interact with this model to start getting past information and location of all the elements in the image. So what is Omniparser? At its core, Omniparser is a versatile model developed by Microsoft to process unstructured data, especially documents, web pages, images, or anything else that combines text and visual elements. Unlike typical OCR or basic parsing models, Omniparser leverages large-scale text and vision encoders to recognize text and interpret its structure and context, making it helpful in understanding complex layouts or extracting specific data points from documents or web interfaces, which then could be connected with a documentation drag or even a zero-shot multi-hop planning using a more robust transformer. Think of it as a super OCR, but with more context awareness. It's designed to handle structured and semi-structured documents, forms, tables, or multi-column pages that traditional OCR would struggle with. This is achieved by aligning text and lay layout cues so that it can decipher not just what the content is, but also where it is on the screen and the page. And that's a game changer for tasks that need to automate or interact with software at a high level. So how does this model work? Omniparser leverages a unified structural representation to handle document parsing tasks through three core modules, visual layout analysis, structured points, sequence generation, and context-aware language understanding. Here's a closer breakdown of all the three parts. Task unification with structured points, sequence constructions. Omniparser employs a unified interface across tasks, connecting structured tokens with region and content sequences through structured points. For instance, tasks like key information extraction and table recognition are represented as specialized structured tokens, such as address for KAI and TR for table rows. The points, which include X and Y coordinates, are normalized to image dimensions, quantized, and tokenized for consistent format across tasks. This tokenization allows the model to identify relationships among document elements by aligning positional data with task-specific tags. Moving on, the unified encoder-decoder architecture. Omniparser employs a SWIN-B transformer-based architecture to generate hierarchical visual embeddings for the input images capturing multi-scale features across text and layout components. However, it's worth noting that this encoder has been changed to use Blip2 and Florence models in the latest version of this paper's code implementation. The output embedding feed into three specialized decoders, Structure Point Decoder, Region Decoder, and Content Decoder. Each decoder focuses on distinct aspects, structured points for spatial relationships, region detection for layout, and content for text recognition, facilitating the sim simultaneous parsing of layout and text details. And finally, for each instance of text or graphic regions, Omniparser uses 16-point polygonal representations to capture contours, which are tokenized similarly to structured points. This polygon-based tokenization enables it to flexibly handle varied shapes and orientations within document layouts. A character-level content sequence is generated for each text region, capturing fine details even with complex layouts. This format allows the model to recognize nuanced structures across document types. So, where can you use Omniparser and computer use for AI agents? 
OmniParser opens up several potential applications, especially when integrated with the computer use feature we saw in GLOT. Here are a few examples. Consider scenarios where agent must pull specific data from forms, invoices, or emails, and then populate another document or system. OmniParser's ability to handle complex layouts makes it ideal for it. Screen parsing for software interaction. Screen parsing is essential in virtual assistants or custom MER support automation. With computer use, AI agents can parse and interact with on-screen information, interpret it, and execute actions without manual oversight. And finally, document parsing pipelines. For industries with heavy documentation like legal, healthcare, or finance, OmniParser can streamline workflows by parsing large volumes of structured and unstructured data, providing more precise and faster extraction. So let us look at what we are going to be achieving today in this tutorial. We are setting up a Streamlit application to activate OmniParser. This app will take an image or screenshot input, display the parsed elements on the image, and output each element's pixel values. Essentially, we'll visualize how OmniParser passes and interprets the screen layout, which as part of a future project can be used to map complex multi-hop UI-based QA tasks. However, before we get started, please head over to my repository and bring the code over to your own computer so that you can follow along. So first, we are gonna be initializing the device. First, we check if a GPU is available for computation. If it is, we'll use it to run our models which will significantly speed up the process. Otherwise, we shall use the CPU, which in my opinion wasn't really that slow, averaging about 10 seconds per inference in comparison to GPUs 4 to 5 seconds. Here, we create a file uploader widget using Streamlit. This widget allows users to upload images in format like PNG, JPG, or JPEG. It is the entry point for user interaction with our application. Once a user uploads an image, we open it using the PIL library and save it to a temporary file. This temporary file will be processed to ensure that we don't alter the original uploaded image. Now, we load the YOLO object detection model from a specified file path, move it to the appropriate device. We also initialize the caption model processor specifically for blip2 to help us generate the descriptive text based on the image content. We load a default image for demonstration purposes if no image is uploaded. Moving on to the inference, we are going to create a button in Streamlit app that lets us start the inference process when clicked. The button will only activate if an image has been uploaded. Uh, once the inference button is clicked, we convert the uploaded image to RGB format. We also define configurations on how bonding boxes will be drawn or detected objects, including text and thickness. In this section, we perform OCR and object detection on the uploaded image. The function processes the images to identify text and bounding boxes, which will help label detected objects. Next, we call a function to generate a labeled image. This function uses the YOLO model and the OCR results to represent the object and a text in the image visually. After generating the labeled image, we check if it was created successfully. If so, we decode it from Base64 format and display it on the Streamlit app. Finally, we display the coordinates of the detected labels and a list of past content from the app. This information gives users valuable information about the model detected in the uploaded image. In summary, OmniParser by Microsoft presents a powerful solution for parsing and understanding complex layouts, images, and text. Integrating it with features like computer use, we can unlock new capabilities for automating tasks and enhancing agent pipelines. I hope this tutorial has inspired you to explore OmniParser's potential in your projects. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, check out some of my other content for more insights into generative AI and automation. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with my latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, keep your models fed and your code bug free.